Hey there, welcome to another episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host, Mondane. This video is part of my helpful series, and today we're going to be talking about things you need to know before you go to a video game convention. Hi, Mondane Designs here, and it's come to my attention that a few of my friends out there don't know what to expect when going to a convention, especially a multi-day convention. And you know what? I'm a helpful guy. I definitely want to be helpful. And so we're going to go over this contraption that I've got on right now with all of the flashy stuff on it and everything. Some of the is functional, some of it is not functional, and it's just there for show and being a nerd. And yeah, we're gonna go over this and you're gonna learn how to survive at a video game convention. So you gotta be asking, what in the world was I wearing? Well, I was wearing this, my convention bag. It is something that I took a little bit of time to curate, pull together, and um, almost every piece of it is either nerdy or functional or anything like that. And it has quite a few things. And uh, I'm probably gonna have to do a camera angle change just so that you can see everything that I want you to see on this thing. But we'll just go over the outside right now. <clears throat> Here we have a water bottle attachment. Um, I am currently rocking a hydro flask. Uh, don't know really much about the company or any other views or whatever, things like that. But I do know that I like this product and that it holds quite a bit of water it is double walled with a vacuum. Uh, it just has flip top. And I added this quick pull ring with this little fob that I created out of parachute cord. Just, you know, gotta stay hydrated. There's no reason not to be hydrated. Um, then I've got some various things, the gamer, uh, a couple of pens about video games, a Ghostbusters patch, uh, Mandalorian patch, uh, a Ghostbusters pen right here. Uh, let's see. Then I have something from my good friend Sinchatus, which is from Genshin Impact. If you know what this is, then you know what it is. If you don't know what it is, me telling you is not going to really change anything. But <clears throat> this is a vision. Uh, it's basically how characters in that game access magic. And this is the specific one that he ordered for me. Um, on the front of the strap, we have my mundane designs. And it sits straight while I'm wearing it. I have this on a keychain. This is actually a very bright light. I won't do that again. Um, this is a badge holder. It's got one of my business cards in it for YouTube and various other things. It also has a pin, one of the smaller G2 pins, Pilot G2. Then I also have some hand sanitizer because no one wants to get sick. Uh, Concoof or Concred is a real thing. Uh, you definitely don't want to come home with more than just video games. You want to come home with just video games. Uh, this is another one of the badge holders. This one's on a little bit longer. Usually, typically, I put the badge for the convention or the QR code or whatever in this. It's got. It's also the same as the last one. Has a place for a pen um, and. Well, on the back of the other one, I've got business cards that I can hand out. And it's got the front and the back with all sorts of information. My 
my YouTube, my Discord, my uh, my Teespring store, you know, uh, you can actually buy Mundane Designs t-shirts uh, because, I mean, you've seen them on Retro Rivals. I've got one for myself just because. The other thing I've got is uh, my friend card. Basically, this is just the Nintendo Switch, Switch code, the PSN code, the Xbox name, and my Steam name. It's just all of them right there. Anyone can request to become a friend um, and we can play some games online if I'm talking to someone at the convention and I think they're particularly cool and I really like uh, everything then yeah I hand one out and the last thing on the outside of the bag which will take a minute to get to is this this is the carrying pouch for anything that I purchase so it's got two keychain rings and this little like carabiner style clip that straps to the rest of the bag. But that's all it is. This is just a little like canvas bag and it's, you know, that's it. There's nothing to it. I just put these two rings on it so that I could turn around and clip it to the shoulder bag rather easily like so and that's it it's being carried it's not really going anywhere it stays fairly close to me so that i can tell if anyone's trying to mess with it and stuff and it's basically where i put all of my new purchases now i do protect some of the purchases with by wrapping them in the plastic bag that the person who's selling them to me offers and that's it but now let's get to what's inside the bag all right I know what you're thinking. You're looking at this thinking, oh my gosh, that's a lot of stuff, but it's not really. So first up, we've got a little microfiber cloth just in case, you know, you wanna either wrap something up or clean something. I wear glasses. So of course, I always love having like some sort of microfiber cloth so I can clean, at least clean my glasses. Next up, got some snacks. Uh, honestly, if, they permit it, you should carry snacks. Uh, I always try to carry snacks. I'm hypoglycemic, meaning that if my blood sugar gets too low, I can get into some trouble. And we have my favorite thing in the world, three by five index cards. This way you can make notes about anything. Uh, if there's someone who wants to give you information, you have gotta have you know, something to write it down with and some index cards. Uh, these are some more of the uh, G2 Pilot pens. Then we have, you know, your basic miniaturized first aid kit because accidents happen. I also prefer liquid bandage often. You know, I, I have this because Honestly, having stomach problems at a convention is not unheard of. Also, having a headache at a convention is not unheard of. Then a Sharpie. Now, the reason that I specifically carry a Sharpie is because there have been multiple times where I've wanted an autograph of some sort and their Sharpie went out. And honestly, I would suggest carrying two Sharpies. That way, if, oh, I don't know, uh, the voice actor for Mario or someone else comes along and they're just like, oh, I'm sorry, my Sharpies run out, give them one. Just give it to them. They will be ever so grateful that they can continue to sign autographs. And that'll be that. I mean, you might even get an autograph for free. Who knows? But that's up to their generosity. Next, we have the basics. <clears throat> We've got a one-up card and the two game bits of the various sizes. This is a three, 3D printed uh, cartridge opener for a Atari 2600 game. I think it also fits the 7800 games, but I'm not sure. Then we have the tri-wing screwdriver 
then just a normal screwdriver with a magnetic tip at the end. Then we've got some other basics. We've got a phone charger cable. We've got a USB battery bank, just in case. And then a few extra business cards. A business card of a company that I really enjoy. And actually, this is not a company, it's just one guy. And he is excellent. He has done a lot of things for the community. Go use the Game Eye app. I love it. And then, since Street Pass is the thing to do at conventions, bring your 3DS. And then, some swag. Honestly, if anyone shows up to a convention and they see me there, you can ask for a sticker that's of my logo or a Metroid Prime sticker. And while I still have them, I'll give them out for free. And finally, there's this. Not a lot of people know what this is. This is a foldable chair and it folds out and connects together and stuff and creates this chair that you can sit on. This thing has saved me a lot of pain when waiting in line for autographs or waiting in line for various other things. And yes, I've been kind and let kids sit on it as well when they were with their parents waiting in line at Dragon Con or some other convention while they needed a signature. All right, so there are a few other things to consider when showing up to a convention like this. Are you going to participate in a tournament? Then you might want to bring your fight stick or your controller. I know you're going to be walking around a ton and everything. So, I mean, I've got to say it. I've got to suggest it. Two pairs of shoes. Now, listen to me. I know. This is not a light packing thing. This is taking care of yourself so that you can have a good time on Let's just say the convention is Saturday, Sunday. On Saturday, you wear one pair of shoes. Make sure they're nice and they're comfortable and they're broken in. Don't go buy brand new shoes and have them wear them for the first time at a convention. So you wear the first pair of shoes on Saturday. You wear the second pair of shoes on Sunday a fresh pair of shoes and good socks that are new will save your feet. You are going to be walking around in a convention, looking at everything that they have for sale, and you're going to regret it if you don't have two pairs of shoes. I promise you, you're going to regret it. Don't be that person. Take two pairs of shoes. Also, if you happen to be a guy that, you know, sweats a little bit, don't be afraid to take deodorant with you to the convention and putting on a little bit extra in the bathroom. Nothing wrong with it. No shame of it at all. Also, I suggest bringing a console. I mean, if, if you're going to be running around and you decided that you're going to go to the convention and buy a bunch of Switch games. Guess what? Bring your Switch. If you're going to buy a bunch of Vita games, bring your Vita. Test these games. If you're going to buy a bunch of PSP games, bring your PSP. If it's a small unit or, or, or small handheld console or something like that, bring it. You don't have to bring it into the convention every single day, but if that day is going to be the day that you're mainly looking for Switch games, you probably want to test them beforehand. And finally, last but not least, bring your medication, folks. And if it's just a two-day convention, bring five days worth. 
uh, flight delays happen, canceled flights happen, all this other stuff. Don't go without your medication. Um, in fact, I would actually suggest everyone write down any of the medical issues that they have on a three by five index card and keep it on them at all times. Because if something happens, I'd rather have you around and be able to tell an embarrassing story about how you fainted at a convention than have to visit you in the hospital. You know, we've, we just need to take care of ourselves and take care of each other. And that's mainly what this video is about, is I wanted to be able to take care of more people. And um, I know it sounds silly and I'm even laughing at myself over this, but you know, it, there's no reason not to have your medication. And always wear a nice shirt from a wonderful YouTuber that you love. Uh, bring a hoodie, bring an umbrella, bring all kinds of stuff. You know, it's the whole have it, not need it kind of mentality here. And honestly, I know I'm human and I've forgotten something. So if you guys have anything to add to this, please, please add it in the comments below. We're here to help people. We're here to have a good time and make this convention the most that we can get out of it. Well, that's it for this episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host, Mondane, and I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed making it. I have videos on the 1st and 15th of every month and look forward to sharing them with you. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe and have a wonderful day.